Hi everyone, today I'm going to talk about how to design a reflector antenna. As you know, reflector antenna is one of the basic topics of designing antennas. Uh, it's one of the most important parts because you are using it everywhere. So, uh, first of all, omega1ghs.org is a very beautiful site and you can uh, find everything about antennas here. Just go and I will add the link in the description. Uh, it explains everything and it explains everything very, very fine. So, uh, first of all, our parabolic reflector antenna. It consists of one parabola and this parabola have a focus point. And as you know, if we radiate something from this focus point, the radiation uh, will go to the infinity. So, if we put the face center of our antenna at that point, we will have the parabolic reflector antenna with field antenna set in its main focal point. In the previous video, I talked about how to design a corrugate horn antenna and how to find its face center. So, uh, let's, in ideal world, let's assume that we have a, a feed with uniform illumination. So, it illuminates like this. And we can see that there's a problem. As uh, you see, uh, we don't have necessary power illuminated here to our reflector antenna. So, in order for our antenna to have uh, 100 efficiency, our feet must have this uh, kind of uh, illumination. But uh, in the real world, we have uh, illumination pattern like this, it's like a potato. <laughs> so in the end, we have losses. Two kind of uh, important losses. One is spillover loss and one is illumination loss. Spillover loss is the power that just goes away from the reflector and we just lost this power. And illumination loss is the loss that uh, illuminates less of uh, our reflector surface. So in the end, uh, we will get uh, less efficiency that is needed. And uh, how is this? And this uh, trade-off, we cannot uh, just uh, make the both of them just to be zero. It's impossible. So we can define the illumination taper 10 dB. What, is, what does it mean? It means that uh, uh, if we have antenna with uh, 50 dB of gain uh, and in the end at this point uh, we will have 40 dB of gain. So it means that we our feed antenna uh, have a 10 dB H taper, which means that it has less uh, 10 dB less power on the edge of the reflector. So here we have a graph which shows uh, the efficiency change according to H taper. It's good point to start from 10 dB, which will have uh, efficiency around 85 uh, dB in a general uh, reflector antenna. It will highly depend on several uh, parameters of your antenna. And that has been said. Uh, this is our... Also, we have here parameters that affect our efficiency. It's illumination taper, spillover loss, and if we have asymmetry in H and H planes, we have uh, less efficiency. And just read this PDF, it's very really good. So let's just uh, design our parabolic reflector antenna. We are calling the new template, microwave, antenna, click next. We are going to choose reflector, uh, where we will choose integral equation. I will show you how to use it in our next video. I am going to design antenna from 8 to 8.5. Click this. It's very good to look at the E field and click finish. So, first of all, let's design the parabolic shape. So, click modeling, click curves, 
click analytic curve and here we are starting to uh, ah, first of all let's define the parameters uh, we are going to first define the diameter of the antenna in parabolic uh, antennas we have two parameters to define one is the diameter of the antenna and the second is the focus point of the antenna and uh, it's usually defined as uh, f over d ratio focal point to diameter of antenna ratio uh, it's a good point to start with uh, 0.4 it's a trade-off between the length of the focus point and the diameter of the antenna so uh, let's just uh, define the parabola uh, we are in modeling in the curves, create another curve. We are going to define our variable t, and we have here t squared over four times of focal point, uh, which our focal point is f of uh, f over t times t. Okay. And if we could preview, we uh, uh, we will define the t uh, over two. And if we click here, click preview, we can see the parabolic shape. I just copy that. And this is our parabola. And in the next step, we are going to define the rim of our antenna we are going to choose circle click escape we have a radius of t over 2 and click preview we will have the rim okay next we are going to move it uh, click this click transform and how much we are going to move it it's t over 2 squared over 2 times 4 times f click preview click ok so we will have we are here have two curves so in the end we are going to make our parabola from these two curves so in the modeling under shapes click sweep curve choose this curve click twice click enter it turns red and after this, it says that double click on the select path, path curve. Click this, and we have here our parabola. And we are choosing the, the material of X, and click OK. So we have here small parabola, small happy parabola. So, and we have a question where we are going to put our feed antenna. So let's just uh, make a dummy feed antenna from this cone. And just click cone, click escape, and we have a bottom radius, for example, 100, that's like this, the proper range, and Z. Uh, it will be situated on focus and focus plus 100, maybe. Focus, ah, not focus, it's F, F, sorry about that, yeah, if not, it's a huge, <laughs> just click 50, review, okay, and here we have a, our horn antenna, and the, this red dot is our focal point of our parabolic antenna and it also the face center of our for, for example corrugate horn so to design a parabolic reflector antenna first uh, design your corrugate antenna and then according to your edge taper choose the diameter and f over d parameter of your parabolic antenna and place the corrugate horn antenna here so that's it for my first video about reflector antennas. In my second video, it will be a lot harder, and I am going to design a, a dual, uh, dual uh, 
Cassegrain uh, reflector antenna. Um, thank you for watching. You can add uh, your comments under the video and you can ask me about projects that I can uh, design in CST and show to you. So have a good day. Bye-bye.